Hello everyone and welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me which is Fair Market Analyst at Handtech on Tuesday 16th of June. We're going to look at Euro dollar which interesting big rally yesterday. I mean we, we saw um, yesterday morning that uh, the corrective move was still continuing. The, these two strong bear candles that we saw that finished last week really did start to weigh on the outlook but there was a big rebound we saw into the close on the back of that um, move from the Federal Reserve um, which was dollar negative. And it's interesting that um, effectively that I think pretty much just neutralizes this uh, this pattern that we've got going on here. You could effectively say that we're in a range now, uh, twelve ten up towards fourteen twenty, so around about two hundred pips or so of range. Um, and it's interesting, I, as I said, sort of consolidating really within that. These momentum indicators have just settled down a little bit. They were looking a bit corrective yesterday. They're now starting to sort of uh, stabilize um, and you could see this uh, euro dollar starts to settle into a bit more of a choppy ranging area but I would still be looking at um, any sort of weakness with, uh, around sort of 1150 area probably as a buying opportunity that's where the uptrend starts to come in to play um, I think the outlook for euro is pretty positive outlook for dollar pretty negative going forward so I think all in all that sort of ends up with euro dollar sort of edging higher I think weakness will be bought into, but certainly for now, this sort of seems to be a little bit of a choppy consolidation. Um, you can see that through the hourly chart here, um, where effectively you're ranging, aren't you? Not really doing a great deal. Um, RSI went on the hourly, went slightly below 30, but again, it's topped out at 70. So effectively, it's gone 70 to 30 to 70 and back swinging lower again. It's now, in the last few minutes, gone below 13.20 which was a basis of a pivot mid-range. So again, that starts to edge you a little bit lower. You'd be wanting the bulls, if you're going to be sort of trading on the, on the long side, you'd be wanting the bulls to hold up above 12.75, which is sort of this little line of support here. But yeah, essentially, market is fairly ranging. I think it's going to give some false signals potentially on a near-term basis, but ultimately we're still looking for further um, to, to buying into weakness and uh, an upside break in due course. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website to sign up for our webinars. And also click here to watch our Trader Talks videos to gain some top trading ideas.